Hi Scorpio, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So we're going to do your person's real intentions towards you reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed, cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. Um, thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this great reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love hearing from you guys and please support my channel. Con continue supporting my channel, subscribe to my channel, and share it to people who you think would um, need to hear these messages. All right. Let's see your person's main energy. Your person's main energy is the king of wands. The king of wands. And then you have their real intentions. The hierophant. The high priestess. And then the wheel of fortune. The moon, the four of pentacles, and then the page of pentacles. All right. Okay. All right, Scorpio, your person's challenge is the two of swords so i'm hearing your person is actually very undecided how they would move forward with you they know that they can't really have you you know i'm hearing player energy or like someone who's non-committal so they really can't have you if they cannot commit fully to you and they they can't let go I have I I'm hearing very clearly that they're having a hard time letting go of their current habits, their current habits, their current um lifestyle. So I'm hearing that is their challenge, okay? Your person's overall energy for this reading is the not at, I mean the king of wands. So this person, you your person is very attractive. Very attractive, very hot ambitious people love coming towards them they're very magnetic male female not really gender specific but uh, that is the energy that we're reading your person could be a leo or any fire sign but very much leo or you could have those placements or they could have placements doesn't necessarily have to be their sun moon rising they could have those placements all right um yeah, your person, very attractive. Very, very attractive. And they know. They're very much aware how they are, how attractive they are. And they're really using these things. This for their advantage. Your person's real intentions towards you. You have the higher fent to the moon. I'm hearing your person is really wanting to commit fully to you. In a, and also in a very traditional sense. So, your person could also be doing a lot of spiritual practices as of this moment. Your person is feeling that they should ascend. But more so, your person is really thinking whether how they can commit to you fully. They're actually very afraid. They're really fearing. But I'm hearing they're really facing their fears of commitment. This person may be someone who has, you know, commitment issues. Not commitment issues that uh, they're married or anything, but take it how it resonates. But more so, your person is more on... They have a fear of committing because i'm i'm getting the energy that maybe in their past or in their during their childhood they did not go through a very healthy they don't have uh how can i say it they might have witnessed maybe their parents or someone very close to them or married that did not really go through a smooth marriage 
So I'm hearing this is something that your person is really carrying, whether or not they can make a marriage work, they can commit to a marriage. So it's more on that energy, All right? This person is really, um, really very silent right now, if I'm not mistaken. Your person is very you're silent right now. You feel that they're very closed off. But you know what? Your person is just really trying to hear their intuition. Their, your person is really trying to hear their intuition whether or not this is the right move or how to move towards you. They're really trying to see that. I'm hearing they're actually penny pinching a, a little more. Why? Because they want to offer you. They're, they want to offer you something really nice, Scorpio. They want to offer you the life that they think you deserve. So right now, they're kind of penny-pinching for some reason because of that. Because they want to offer you something great. You have the Wheel of Fortune and then the Page of Pentacles. This person knows very much that no matter how hard they try to let go of you in the past, they keep coming back to you. Why? Because this is fated energy. Luck is on their side right now. Luck is favoring them right now. This is very much fated energy towards you. I'm hearing your person would want to, you know, take action on offering you even just something small. They want to start small. They want to try. They want to try to commit, but they want to start small. Which is okay. Small steps. Small steps, Scorpio. Let's see your person's I'm sorry. Uh, let's see your pers what is um your person's actions. These are intentions, the this is the action, the overall action. All right. So you could be separated with your person. Your person feels left out in the cold. They are about to come in. They are about to come in. They are. I feel that your person is very proactive and they're really trying to manifest you back into their life, into their world. Your person is really, really focused on building their life, their money, their stability. As I said, they want to offer you something better. They really want to offer you something better. Something that you really deserve. What is the advice for my Scorpio during the time of waiting? What is the advice for Scorpio? All right. The advice for Scorpio is the Three of Cups, the Hermit, and then the Seven of Wands. All right. Very clearly, your uh, spirit is asking you to wait. To wait to heal yourself from the triggers that the things that trigger you, it's time to heal during the time of waiting. And ask your friends for help. Ask your soul tribe for help. Alright? That is the advice for you, Scorpio. Let's see. Other additional messages from Spirit. You have let go of control issues. You have three cards. Love yourself first. You deserve love and let go of con uh, control issues. So yes. I want to do it this way. Okay. And then, let's go to the wisdom of the oracle. No, that is just me shuffling pretty badly. I'm so sorry about that. I just need one card, please. If you could give me one card, please. You have peace. That is number 23. When you reduce it, 2 plus 3 is 5. That's actually a conflict card, but more on realizing what conflict issues you have to let go of. Peace. Let's see. Relationship message. 
Two people are in true alignment with one another. They have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it is impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. There's going to be peace in this relationship. There really is. So I hope something in this reading resonated, Scorpio. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all. Thank you so much and stay blessed.